Avoid these six foods to protect your kidneys. Steer clear of these six common foods that might damage your kidneys. Our kidneys are vital to our existence and perform a critical function as a poison filter. Given that a healthy kidney filters approximately half a cup of blood every minute, our bodies can accumulate waste products and poisons if our kidneys aren't functioning properly. Now, here's something you might not be aware of. Most kidney damage is permanent, especially if it is chronic. Let me say that again. In most cases, kidney damage cannot be repaired. Even more worrisome is the possibility of renal failure resulting from this damage if treatment is not received. That implies you may require kidney transplantation or dialysis to survive. Remarkably, a third of individuals with significantly reduced kidney function who are not on dialysis do not realize they have renal disease because of nebulous symptoms. Thus, you should act now to avoid problems before it's too late. Did you realize that some of the things we eat on a regular basis might damage our kidneys subtly? We'll discuss six typical meals in this video that, believe me, might gradually harm our kidneys over time. Some of them will startle you. In order to save our kidneys, we will also discuss how to safely ingest certain foods. Please be aware before we begin that. Now, let's get back to the foods that can really damage your kidneys. 1. Spinach Although spinach has long been promoted as a superfood, it actually contains a lot of oxalate, which is known to cause kidney damage. Up to 1,260 mg of oxalate can be found in 100 grams of spinach, which is more than what you'd get from much more greens, leafy. You run the risk of dying from oxalate poisoning if your body absorbs too much of it in a short amount of time, even during a single meal. It has happened that someone who consumed the high oxalate content of sorrel soup experienced renal failure a few hours later and died. Oxalates can build up in your body even with a moderate daily consumption, leading to kidney stones, bladder stones, renal nephropathy, joint problems, and effects on all organs, including the brain they are also connected to diseases like painful bladder syndrome, often known as interstitial cystitis, IC. It's advisable to stay away from rhubarb, chard, and cassava root due to their high oxalate content. The high potassium content of spinach is another issue. Normal kidney function maintains blood potassium levels in equilibrium. However, it's crucial to limit potassium consumption for those who have chronic kidney disease, CKD. The National Kidney Foundation advises against overindulging. Up to 2,000 mg per day for those with CKD, 13. Nonetheless, 558 mg of potassium may be found in just 100 grams of raw spinach. Be aware that boiling spinach does not modify the amount of potassium or oxalate in the vegetable. Thus, it is advisable to eat spinach in moderation if you have renal problems. You may eat spinach alongside vegetables that are lower in potassium and oxalate, such as kale, carrots, zucchini, lettuce, cabbage, broccoli, and cauliflower. 2. Potatoes and Sweet Potatoes Sweet potatoes are a superfood because they are full of vital vitamins, minerals, and amino acids. However, be aware that their elevated potassium level poses a risk to individuals suffering from renal illness. As stated by the United States Department of Agriculture, USDA, a 5-foot-long sweet potato can provide 438 mg of potassium, compared to around 610 mg in a standard baked potato. On the other hand, soaking potatoes in water before cooking might help lower their potassium content, unlike spinach. For the protection of your kidneys, it is therefore advisable to be reasonable and to soak your potatoes in sweet potatoes before cooking. Additionally, common potato foods like chips and french fries are heavy in salt and sodium, which puts additional strain on the kidneys. You can quickly exceed your daily salt limit by snacking on them. Additionally, because potato chips are often heavily processed and lack nutritious value, procedure, thus it's better to stay away from them altogether. So far, are you having fun with our video? If so, do leave us a remark so we know what to do, and we'll create more stuff similar to this. 3. Rice Around the world, rice is a trusted accompaniment to innumerable dishes, but guess what? That harmless plate of rice might be hiding something poisonous. In other words, arsenic, a heavy element that directly affects kidneys, is present in rice in high concentrations. Chronic renal insufficiency and abrupt renal failure are two conditions that can result from arsenic exposure. The more dangerous kind of arsenic, known as inorganic arsenic, is found in uncooked rice at concentrations of 0.1 to 0.4 mg per kilogram. Other cereals, such as wheat and barley, 
have a total arsenic level of only 0.03 to 0.08 mg per kilogram and inorganic arsenic that is frequently undetectable. Additionally, compared to other crops, rice tends to absorb more cadmium and other heavy metals. Does this imply that you ought to stay away from all rice? Not always. Because a healthy diet is all about balance, you can still enjoy it in moderation. While occasional rice consumption is okay, it's preferable not to, to experience it excessively, particularly in young toddlers and babies. Compared to adults, they can consume up to three times as much arsenic from rice. Thus, even modest exposure levels may have an impact on a child's memory, IQ, and brain development. Going forward, low arsenic choices to explore in place of brown rice include quinoa, barley, couscous, buckwheat, millet, farro, and sorghum. 4. Butter. A dairy product called butter is created from the fat and protein content of milk or cream. Thus, cholesterol and saturated fat make up this delicious delicacy. These substances are connected to plaque and hypertension. Production, which over time may impede renal function by putting stress on your kidney's blood channels. And as if that wasn't bad enough, we also have salted butter. There are around 643 milligrams of salt in 100 grams of salted butter. That's a lot, too. A diet heavy in salt will raise blood pressure, which over time may cause kidney damage. Additionally, store-bought butter frequently undergoes extensive processing to enhance flavor and prolong shelf life. There aren't many nutritional advantages from this method because it takes out important elements like calcium from butter. Thus, to maintain the health of your kidneys, think about using organic, unsalted butter, and always remember, moderation is crucial. 2. Cola liquid sugar consumption is far more dangerous than solid sugar consumption. Furthermore, soda is just sugar. Your kidneys begin to leak sugar into the urine when your blood sugar level is too high. This is often not an issue if your kidneys are healthy, but if you have diabetes, an excess of sugar might harm your kidneys. Nephrons are, in short, microscopic filters found in the kidneys. Diabetes's high blood sugar levels can damage these blood arteries and filters, which makes the kidneys work harder. Many choose Diet Coke because they believe it has less. However, many are unaware that consuming diet soda on a daily basis is associated with a 67% increased risk of type 2 diabetes. Ads and artificial sweeteners are still included in diet drink. Sweets that cause renal harm in real life. What's more worrisome is that sodas frequently include high phosphorus flavoring and shelf life chemicals. Your kidneys can suffer greatly from too much phosphorus, and sodas are a better source of added phosphorus than other natural sources. For proper kidney function, the National Kidney Foundation recommends consuming no more than 700 mg of phosphorus per day. Now, it's better to reduce soda intake to preserve your kidneys. 5. Dried Fruits Because they have lost their water content, dried fruits are delicious and appear to be nutrient-dense. But they're also high in calories, sugar, and potassium all of which can be harmful to your kidneys. The USDA states that one cup of raw, pitted pistachios provide 1,270 mg of potassium, which is sufficient to cover half of a day's needs. Additionally, some dried fruits have sugar and salt added to improve flavor. Your kidneys will be under additional strain as a result of these elements as they filter blood. Regular consumption of dried fruits may cause your kidneys to work too hard. Because dried fruits are tiny and ideal for snacking, it's also simple to overdo them, which might result in taking more calories than you realize. Dehydration also eliminates a large portion of the you might not feel as full as you would with fresh fruit because of the water from the fruit. Therefore, if you want to keep your kidneys safe, it's recommended to limit your snack options to fresh fruits. In summary that's our list of the six popular meals that might damage your kidneys, folks. They consist of rice, potatoes, butter, soda, dried fruits, and spinach. Tomato sauce, concentrated juice, canned or frozen goods, and genetically modified meals are other foods that are bad for your kidneys. They include a lot of added sugar and salt. You may start living a kidney-friendly lifestyle by avoiding them or using them in moderation. Here's a suggestion to help you recall things better. To test your memory, write down the list of foods to avoid for the health of your kidneys. We would now want to express our sincere gratitude to every one of our supporters and subscribers. We are motivated to keep providing you with excellent health advice and information by your support. Through our channel, there are tons of informative films on illnesses and healthy eating habits that you may watch.